Alright people, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is Tuesday, and that means you're using Plug Glitchy Bell. And uh, once again, with Plug Glitchy Bell, I'm experimenting. I, I don't know why, but sometimes it's just this deck, I'm just like, let's experiment, let's try something new, let's try something different, let's try something interesting, you know? Even if it doesn't work, I really don't care. I don't know why, it's just with Plug Glitchy Bell, I always feel like testing things. So, if you're wondering what we are testing out today, uh, we are testing out another revival card in here. Uh, it's called uh, Damage Gate. If you've never heard of it, I don't know, blame you. Uh, pretty much, it's a trap card. When I take battle damage, I summon a monster uh, whose attack is uh, equal to or less than the damage that I took and special summon it from my graveyard. So, your bell has zero, so, you well. Know. And if I take any damage that's you know, higher than zero, I can summon back your bell. I can also summon back Plague if I take more than 400. Mali if I take 800. So, it helps with the summoning. Uh, I did not open too well. You know, if I like, opened up with like a Dark Gref or a Morgana Knight or, you know, something to send, we'd be kind of chill right now, but I didn't, so I'm going to take the duel slow. I'm not really going to commit to, you know, setting all this back or trying to scare him or anything. I'm okay. I'll take some damage on the chin and then we'll prepare to play, you know. So I just want to go ahead and try it out. I was wondering with, you know, with the being able to get uh, Nefarious Archie and Nefariousness uh, set up real quick and then being able to do that, I would have more, you know, Terror plays and Nivell plays. Huh. I was going to get one if, I, if we had the old old rules, I would have had it. I would have had it. I would have been like, wow, all right, I opened up broke, you know. But instead, when new rules, I had to wait till my sixth card, and I clearly didn't get what I needed. <laughs> so, hello. You know, so with all the plenty of revival that we have in this deck, I can easily, uh, easily get it set up. I literally go, summon him again, I drop you battle, you kill my again, all right, Oasis call the hunter, bring back on again, I send Harris, Harris, give me back, give me the Ferris, I'll turn the Ferris, and bam. You know, so it's not even that hard to go ahead and get that set up in this particular deck. So let me go ahead and show you uh, damage gate. Here it is. Damage gate. Okay, when you take battle damage, uh, target one monster in your graveyard with attack equal to the last three damage took by summon that target. So that's pretty much uh, the gist. The question is, should I drop you bell right now? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and drop you bell. Take a little slow. Uh, like I said, you bell can pretty much handle this situation pretty well. So. Flip up a Shadow Monster. Go ahead. Flip up a Shadow Monster. Flip up a Shadow Monster. Flip up a Shadow Monster. It better not be a Shadow Monster. I'll quit. I quit. I hate that duck. I hate that duck so much. <laughs> yep. Yep. I quit. I don't want to do that deck at all. Nothing. I want. I hate that deck. I hate that deck. You know. That deck is getting on par with freaking Infernities in my heart. I. I don't like it. I like nothing about that deck. I don't like playing the deck against the deck. I don't like seeing the deck. I don't like their monsters. I don't like nothing about the deck. I don't like dueling against the deck. I don't like using the deck. I don't like nothing about the deck. Nothing. I hate fucking Shadals. No, I'm not dueling you. I hate Shadals. Like, I, there's nothing I like about them. Nothing, you know? Absolutely nothing. Like, I, could, I thought I could find one thing that I liked about them, but nope. I punish you for playing the deck that you play. The monsters are ugly. I don't like their spell. I don't like nothing about the deck. Nothing. Sand is gross. Sand is really gross. Draw Ultimate Nightmare. Like, great. I mean, Terra Incarnate. I've been drawing Terra Incarnate a lot lately. Like, it's, oh, we're starting to fall into the Terra Incarnate phase. Then it'll be Ultimate Nightmare. Then it'll be back to regular Bell and just drum the same shit over and over and over and over again. You know? So you're gonna discard this special summon. Discard this special summon and put in this discard special summon. We did that backwards, but you know, cause I was like, wait, what are you how are you discarding this card? You know. You should you should have discarded it to the graveyard, special summon this, and this would have came back. You know? Mm-hmm. This card's still dumb. Snatch deal is dumb, but that card is still dumb. Like it's all dumb. Like Don't take your opponent's monsters. Don't. It's probably gonna flip up my monster and go ahead and sit go with it. Yeah. Don't. Don't. The moral of the story is don't. Don't. Don't take your opponent's monsters at all. It's a really dick move.
You know, an absolute dick move. You know, I hated mind control, let alone snap still. I hate taking I hate taking your opponent's monsters. Like use your own shit. Uh, but my hand is complete ass. Literally, unless I draw a dark graffer, this duel is not looking too hot. And of course you're not sent to the graveyard by a card effect. Or by battle, so I don't get your search. That sucks. Okay. God, I hate that. It's one of the reasons why I hated mind control. You know what? What's my next card? Not what I need. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and quit. Taking my goddamn monster. God, I hate when people do that. You know? I was like, I was like, I hate mind control. And they're like, oh, snot steel. Like, no. Like, shit. Damn it, Konami. I hate you. I hate you so much. Please don't be using Dark Worlds. Ah, I hate when they're good luck, have fun, and they use something sacky, so. Oh. Good luck, have fun, I'm using Dark Worlds. Better not be. Better fucking not be. Normal summon. Okay. Draw a whole bunch of revival for you, Bell. Back. Then pitch an alley. I'm gonna send you Bell. God. All the revival. One of those is probably an MST. No? Okay. I hope it's not Dark Worlds. Oh, it's just setting more background. Oh, I got really nothing to play right now, so I'll just poke. If you're not going to commit to any plays, then I'll just poke. I'm chill. I got nothing to do. I mean, I could summon Mass Chameleon during Aki Bell, but I'm okay right now. I got Limit Reverse. Wow! Do you have anything? <coughs> Wish I had Nefarious Archer and Nefariousness already right now. Our idea is to take damage, play Damage Gate, summon you Bell, then during my opponent's end phase, go ahead and just... And just, uh, Nefarious Archer and Kill you Bell, summon Terror. Suggest, but I'm just not sure I'm gonna be able to pull that off. I'm not even sure if my opponent's even gonna be in play, pull off any plays. What deck are you running? I mean, shit. Oh, it's UAs. Oh, that explains the reason why he wasn't getting shit. He never got Roto or his level 4. There's not much he can do. UAs are strong. I'll activate this. Yeah, I'll summon back Dark Graffer. I can use him next turn. Oh, right, I can't activate any truck. Is that after? This card attacks until the end of the damage step. When does this activate? That, that's, that's, that's in the damage step. So it was UAs the entire time. Go ahead and use your effect. Thanks for killing me for me. You literally killed me. Bro. 
Oh, it's a broke charge. Damage K, broke charge. Uh, there's not much I can do right now besides just end my turn. <laughs> Can't negate me. You did that. Uh, that was during your end phase. So I'm just gonna my turn. Bill effect. I want to see how UAs get around tear. That should be interesting, because I don't think they really can. He's going to keep plussing out that UA Stadium, though. That's going to be annoying. <gasps> it's all its monsters getting 500 shots. I didn't even know that was a card. Interesting. I never even knew this card. Mischief of the gnomes. <laughs> it's like mischief of the yokai, except different. <sighs> Once per turn, when a card uh, you can just card one card, negate that, negate that activation if you do destroy them. It, uh, I'm Mally in the graveyard, don't I? If I do, alright. Mally effect. It's a period? Well, you can't really technically destroy me in the graveyard. One picture of another when a card is activated, you can discard one card and negate the activation if you destroy it. How do you destroy me in the grave? You really can't. Yeah, I'm not planning on activating anything, so. I'm just gonna summon plague. Sink eight. And go right into Beals, who does not activate. So is that a 500 attack? Yeah, it's just 500 attack. So I can still run you over. Which I think I will. So no negating my U Bell. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. I'm good. Like I said, I want to see how UAs handle this situation. You have your level 4 guy, right? Can't you just normal summon him, search for UA Stadium, return, summon something else? But, oh, right, fake of gnomes. He could have used that during my turn. And reduce my plague down to uh, one. Now I'll have to go into seven. Okay. So I'm not really blown away by your plays right now. Hmm. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I want to do. Oh, he just got to make defeat. I would say I'm probably gonna get you eventually. I'm just gonna beat you down. He's just like, fuck it, I can't. Like, yep. Yeah. Eventually, I'm gonna beat you down. I could have literally went for another Beal, so I had two Beals, so they attack, attack, you know. And then next turn, you would have to summon another one of him, and, and you know, eventually just ran out of steam, you know. That's what I'm saying. They're strong. When they get their plays out, they can go. They're kind of scary. They're kind of consistent, you know, but they're just really, they're just beaters, you know. And the end of the day, they don't have anything to pop. They don't have anything to destroy. They don't really have any spot removal, so sitting with Terra on the field, you know, he really couldn't do shit, you know. So... That's why he just straight up just couldn't pull off anything. Alright, well I really didn't get to use um, 
uh, uh, damage gate at all. So I'm not even sure if I'm running. Literally, all I did was just take out, like, you know, dark holes. I think I took out two dark holes in the temple to test it out. So, you know, I could always just put that back in. But it really didn't seem like it didn't do anything. You know, when, the one time I tried to play it, I couldn't even play it at the time. You know, my idea for that situation was to take the damage, summon uh, Dark Graf for the next turn, go, you know, summon Mask Chameleon, Mask Chameleon, bring back your bell, XC into 101, and take them. But, you no. Know, you no. Know. Uh, nope. That didn't go according to plan at all. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, call that an episode. So, oh wait, no, that guy was tributed, wasn't he? I don't know. I don't remember the duel. I remember the duel. I could have made Castell either way, but I'm thinking he could have negated me. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna go. Oh shit! I had the bridge dragon. I could have summoned the bridge dragon and rammed into him. It would have been all the same. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Vitamin Y. So I know it's short, but I got other things to record today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow with uh, UFCs. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.